Hello and welcome to another episode in the Learning to Fly with Grant Francis and Go Fly series. Uh, I'm about 30 hours into my training now. I've done my first solos, I've done some navigation, I'm all but three exams to, to go and uh, today we are doing uh, spiral dives and steep turns. We shall see how it goes with my instructor, Charlotte. Go Bravo, Foxtrot, November, Kilo. Uh, requesting airfield information for a local flight and it will be to POB. Michael, Stern Radio, good afternoon, Reliability 5. Runway 24, the left hand circuit, 2 and 8, choose 1016. Golf 5 0, Foxtrot, November Kilo, Readability 5, runway 24, left hand circuit, Q and H 1016. Thank you. So a 45 degree turn then, here's how it works. You turn into 30, at the point where you're at 30 degrees, you add in full power because at 45 degrees the stall speed is going to be lower, so in order to combat that you need a bit more power in the aircraft. Turn around to 45, a good pull back on the yoke because it's going to want to drop, and hold it. That's the theory at least anyway. We're looking fine. And same as going into it exactly the same as you do at 30 degrees. So aileron and rudder together. But 30 degrees out of open power. Absolutely. Okay. Good. Right. Nice and gently. Aileron and rudder. All right. Okay. Here we go. Then. Aileron and rudder. Yeah. Good. And then some power. And there's your 45 degrees. Only you've got uh, quite a pitch up, so you've got to try and maintain that there. Oh, is that? Oh, that feels weird. Take, take up that force, from the gun. Take okay. up that force. So here, that is your 45 degree angle of banking. All right, we're just the instruments, when the instruments settle out, there we go. There. Okay. So just learn where that horizon is hitting your combing. All right, take up that force on me. Yeah, oh, real pull, pull force. Sorry, I'm pulling real against strong, what you're doing. Real strong, I thought you were, real strong oh, pull sorry. force. What did you? There we go, round to 45 degree, come on, no wimpy turns, 45, there we go. And hold it there. Learn where your horizon is. Yeah. 45 degrees. Come on. Yeah. Come on, 45. That's 30. Yeah, okay. Come on, right. whip it out. Good. 45 Go. degrees. Come on. Take up that control force. Good. Cross check on your instruments. You can see we've got slight descent. Back outside, you can see your horizons. Yeah. Deeper horizon. Slightly. Good. There you go. So that's 45 degree angle of bank. You're on almost 100% power. Just to maintain it. And I'll get you rolling out at west. 20 degrees or so before. Ailer on and rudder together. Reducing your power. And you reselect your level flight issues. We had a bit of a push ball then, didn't we? Yeah. You alright? Yeah. Just quite a sensation to get used to that. Isn't Very it? Very strange. There's a lot going on. A lot going on. You just have to look out widely with it. Look out, look at your horizon constantly, otherwise you get yeah. very disorientated if you're looking down. So part two of the lesson was moving on to spiral dives, or rather recovering from a spiral dive. And the process here is really simple. Once you find yourself in a spiral dive, cut the power, level the wings, and gently pull up. And of course, once you're level, add the power back in. And so I'm going to put you into a spiral dive, and then I'm going to pass control to you, and I'm going to get you to cover. Okay. okay. So think about the sequence to recover. What's the first thing you're going to do? Power off. Good. Turn into it. Yeah. Gently level up. Wings level, and gently ease out of the dive. Good. All right, I'll have control. Yeah, control. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Look out, looking clear to the left. And adding in a bit of power. Not really attention to what I'm doing. Going into a, a steady spiral dive. So you have control, Grant. I have control. So power off. Level the wing. Oh, very Lock the push. Yeah, very gently is out. Good. And add a little bit of power back in again. Yeah, that's right. As your speed starting to decrease. Yeah, well done. There we go. There we go then, 45s and a spiral dive. You know, this whole flying lark is getting quite dangerous. Not in the, oh my god, everything's going to go wrong and we're going to die kind of way, but that I just find myself not wanting to do anything but get up in the air. The bug, they say, has bitten. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you again in the next video or podcast. Don't forget you can follow GoFly on all your usual social media outlets. Just search for GoFly UK. You can find my progress online at my blog, at flyinglessons.tv. And of course, you can press the subscribe button to all of the podcasts too. I'll see you next time.